my book is a memoir about living in Tibet. And uh, Alexander McCall Smith, who wrote the intro, said it's a memoir, it's an adventure, and it's a travel book. Rupert, thanks for writing this, this wonderful, uh, wonderful book. Uh, you've crammed more into your life than <laughs> vast numbers of people. I mean, some people lead three or four lifetimes by the time they're whatever age you are. And, uh, <laughs> Rupert, what's the book about? Basically, it's about my life in Tibet in 1986 and 87. So it's, a, it's not a travel book in the sense that it's quite old. It's memoir, but it's also an adventure. Um, when I was at university in Liverpool, I decided to not follow the crowd into a normal career, what they call the milk round, when big companies come around recruiting. I um, wanted to travel to the other side of the world and see, see the world and make my own way. How I raised the money to get away hitching through Eastern Europe, which then was communist, Poland, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, who remembers Czechoslovakia, um, Romania, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, and then through the Middle East, which I basically flew over, and then hitchhiking through India, Nepal, Tibet. What, what were the pinnacles or maybe the, the worst moments during your trip? Worst moments, I guess, were dealing with the Chinese police, who had me under arrest on two different occasions and they're pretty tough and heavy. Um, and um, actually, no, the worst moment definitely was when I got hepatitis, because I really thought I was going to die. And, um, but fortunately, a Chinese guy took me to the Tibetan hospital, where they have this ancient medicine that cured me within a day. And I, I thought there's no cure for hepatitis. But now, what's the message of your book? I mean, you've, you've completed oh. this piece, and uh, what, what would you like to say to people through to writing this composition of your adventures, travels, some of them, some of them dangerous, some of them romantic. No, my message is that um, you too can overcome your fear of traveling alone, your complacency about getting up off your bum, out, out and away, because it's very difficult to do that, and people underestimate that, and travel books don't usually cover that. So I want to encourage people to travel independently and um, to use the Buddhist precepts, let go. Okay, is there anything you would like to say to your readers uh, and the readers of Reviews Theatre? Well, yeah, um, I would just say if, you've many, it, it, if you want some inspiration to help overcome your own fears, not even about travel, but about other things, this is a useful story of someone who's overcome their fears. And Rupert, maybe you can too. Rupert Wolf-Murray, thank you very much. Thank you.